Hello, my friends. Happy Tuesday. Happy almost, I almost said Easter, Halloween. It's not even close to Easter. How is everybody? I hope you all are great. So I have been, I don't know why I've been procrastinating this video for so long, but we are going to, first of all, dive into my notebooks and we're going to prep my November journal because I am almost, yeah, yeah, done with this daily journal of mine. I honestly think that I'm probably, I was pen testing in here. I'm probably not going to finish these pages. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just collage them or put quotes or something on them. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it. I really wanted to finish it, finish it, but I'm feeling drawn to this. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. So for those of you that know, and that have already purchased a, a journal from me, oh my God, I appreciate you so much. I was so excited. Um, I got a, it's the little things I'm telling you. I haven't sold a lot of them. Hold on guys, I'm printing here. And I'm not sure what is going on with my printer. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. Um, I got a message from Allison over at AJ's Inspired Life on Instagram, and she told me she already bought one of my journals. And I was like, oh my god, really? Which one? I need to know. I'm so happy. Thank you. Anytime somebody messages me and says that they bought one, it makes me so happy. I am going to design more covers. I've just been super busy with other things. Um... And honestly, a big part of why I haven't is I lost my Apple Pencil for a while. I found it. I just found it today. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we are going to, I'm just going to pull out some magazines that I might want to use while we're prepping. And some printables that I did that are going to be available on Patreon. Hopefully... Hopefully really soon. I'm still working on getting that launched because it's new to me. Okay, so first thing is I've got my chai tea because I needed that. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. I don't know why. I don't sleep great as it is, but I got up at 2.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I went and sat on the couch and turned the TV on thinking that would make me fall asleep. And it didn't. So I've been awake for like 12 hours. But I got my, my Halloween mug. I can't tip it, but it's Pennywise. Um, I got my journal. So this specific journal, you'd think I would know, is like five and a quarter by, I think, eight. Yeah. So it's about five by eight. I think that they all are kind of a little different, give or take. But I also have composition notebook size which is 9.75 by seven and a half I was going to use this for my November journal um, but I wanted to do a small one but I like I like the lines spacing I don't know if you can see in these notebooks a lot um, and then a lot of my other ones are just dot grid that are this size and I have all different covers um, and I'll leave a link. It's always in the description to go straight to Amazon where you can purchase them. They're only $4.99. So any support, if you like them and you feel like you need to have one, I, I appreciate it more than you know. And please tag, like if you are a journaler and you'd like to show what you're doing in your book online, tag me. If not, I totally understand. You don't have to. Some people are private when they're, you know, in their journals. But so this is the one we're going to used today and this is white paper and it's got um line pages with where you can put like a date or a title or something right there if you want but what we're gonna do since these don't really stay open we're gonna just normally in a normal notebook i would never break the spine but my journals are different i don't mind so we're just going to kind of go through and open this up so that it doesn't, so it just stays open a little better. And we're actually, this is 
not the first time I've used one of these notebooks, but it's the first time I've used one for creative journaling. So we're gonna test some stuff together. And I don't know how far we'll get. I don't know. Actually, maybe I should just open it to the center because it looks like there are, I don't know how many signatures they put in these books, but we're gonna go to the center and just kinda break the spine a little bit so it stays open. So this paper is not super smooth. There's a little bit of a tooth to it. Um, they're cheap notebooks. I mean, what do you want, right? All right. The more I use it, I think the more, the more it'll stay open. So I have this weird thing. I don't know why. And I, the more I think about it, I was actually having a conversation with somebody on Instagram about this. Um, and I think I might know why, but I never use the front page. For whatever reason, I always go straight to this page. But today, we're gonna put a book plate in there. So these, um, I just printed this as a test. I really like these. So I have printed these on some premium matte sticker paper. It's real smooth, real buttery. Um, and they're just book plates. You can, I'm, these are going to be available on Patreon as well. Um, these say this journal belongs to, and this says this book belongs to. So however you want to do it, they are three by four. And I'm actually going, since I didn't print on the entire, I don't like wasting my sticker paper. We are gonna trim this so that I can still print on it. So I have that. You can either print on it or, um, and I think I'm going to use the journal one. And I think, oops, because I don't know which one I like better. I think I'm going to use the bright one just because it kind of matches the color scheme on here. You can tell I, I'm drawn to certain colors when I create. So let's trim this up real quick. Interesting why this one, oh, I don't have them lined up. That's why, that's okay, that's okay. So we are going to put this, I'm not sure where I should put it. Oh, oh, I didn't cut that quite right, did I? Here, let's use my little paper gamer. My old faithful, I've had this thing for years. Creative memories, I know they're not in business anymore. I used to do a lot of scrap, well, no, I did not do a lot of scrapbooking. I used to go to a lot of crops. Who remembers crops? Do they still do those? I wish I had a group of friends out here to create with still. We kind of lost, I lost touch with everybody. All my coolest crafty friends moved away. So that's where that paper cutter came from, oh my gosh. All right, so now do I want to put it here or do I want to put it here? I think I like it there. And so I have it to where you can put your name and then when you started it and when you finished it. So we will do that. I love this sticker paper. It's what I print my printable, my planner stickers on. I get it from... Hold on and I'll grab the package. We're just gonna eyeball this. Do you know what to do? And then we can write in that later. Okay, so we know that this is gonna be November, right? So there are 50 pages or 50 sheets in here. So that's a hundred pages, which I know is gonna be obviously way too many for the month of November because there's only what, 30 days in November? Am I right? Yeah, 30 days in November. So we all know Tony doesn't like to do that. First page. So we're going to start. So I'm thinking most of my pages are going to be double spreads, which still gives me like 50 pages. Um, I guess I can just rip out back pages if I don't get it all done, right? Yeah. Um, 
This is the only, the biggest thing I don't like about these books is this. So these are print on demand books. And I'm sure that if I switched to like Redbubble or something like that, they would be a little higher quality. Um, but I wouldn't be able to offer them at the price point that I do. So, and just so you know, I make like 80 cents a book on these. So don't think I'm, you know, over, I'm honestly, I'm not charging as I've been told enough, but that's okay because I'm super thrifty and I don't know. I think some of the journals out there, while I think the quality is worth it, paying 40, 50, even $20 for a notebook is just not, it's not my thing. And props to those companies that can do that and, and sell them. Good for you. I mean, this is why I don't have an empire because I never charge enough. I'm always guilty of not charging enough. So, you know what I think we're going to do? Since since we haven't really worked artistically in this book, we're going to try out some different mediums. One of the things I wanted to do was... Sorry if I keep walking away. I want to try some of my distress stains. Um, I don't have that many. I've got five or six maybe. Oh, that one's pretty white, right? Do they even make these anymore? Oh, I have scattered straw. I like that one too. And I'm not gonna do like super themey since this isn't really a fall anything. We're just gonna kind of play. So shall we get started? Instead of me yammering on it's already been 11 minutes so let's let's try some of this um you know what i don't want to do though one of the things i don't like about these is the weird dot that it makes and i don't have any paper towels in here cool let's see, let's see. all right we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna see how these hold up on the back side Oh yeah, lots of bleeding. That's okay though, because like I said, I'm probably gonna use, wow, that's really wet. I don't, hmm, okay. So we know that that's not gonna work. I mean, it'll work, but you know what I wonder? Hold on, let me dry this real quick. All right, let's try on this side. Let me try some watercolor. Sorry if my nails are bothering anybody. I need to paint them again and I have paint on them. They're not, I mean, the polish is coming off, but like that's paint. That's not my polish chipping away. Hold on guys, I don't have any water. Sorry about that. Got a jar of water. Here is my watercolor brush. I have a very specific watercolor brush that I use when I'm just plopping down color. And I don't know where it's at. That's weird. I feel like I just used it too. Oh, there it is. It is a Da Vinci. I can't, a mop brush. Um, I got this on Amazon. If I remember, I will link it. But we're going to use, it's funny, I have a million different watercolors, and these are just my go-to. Um, I like them for the color and the blendability, um, and they were super cheap. But they do leave like a chalky coating. So, and I've had these for years. And the only ones that are almost gone are like, you can tell which my favorite colors are. All right, so we did that one with orange. So let's do, uh, <laughs> let me spray these real quick so they're all wet. All right, let's do, we're just gonna do some, Oh, sorry. All right, one of my goals, and I haven't posted it on Patreon yet, is to raise money. I'm gonna have a, a money goal so that I can get a new camera um, and a new tripod. Do green and yellow, why not? We're just gonna plop down some color here because we're gonna flip it over in a second and see what it did. 
we've already got some yellow or orange coming through from earlier let's get some yellow oh really bright I didn't mean to do all that okay okay let's let's try it paper is nice and crinkly so if you are wanting paper that doesn't warp when you add wet medium to it these notebooks are not for you all right let's do I do like that but I know once I add water to this side it's gonna bleed through a little bit so you know what we're gonna do we are going to find Different, maybe. No, do I not have any? I guess not. That's okay. That's okay. We'll do something else on the side. I'm in a watercolory mood and I want to test different mediums on here. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to test some distress oxides. Yep. With water. Maybe. Mermaid Lagoon. What goes with blue? Blue and yellow make green, and I just did green, so I don't want to do that. Pink and blue. Let's do pink and blue. Let's do sponge sugar. I knew I should have bought that flamingo one. All right. So we're going to do, I'm going to go with my lighter color first. Normally I would have my, um, what do you call it? Non-stick mat down, but I don't feel like getting that out. So I'm just using deli paper. And then we're gonna get it wet. Can you guys see? Yeah. And then we're just gonna smush. Oh, that's pretty. It's very light and very subtle. Okay. We're going to leave that wet because I want to add some bolder color to this and I want it to kind of blend around. So maybe a deli paper for this isn't the greatest idea. That's all right. Let's, I don't want any square marks on my page. Okay, and then we'll smush that. Ooh, that's pretty, but now the pink is all missing. So let's go back and we'll just add some color on there. Whatever, it's all gonna get covered up with journaling anyway. Uh, all right, so let, ooh, oops. Oh, that's still wet, hold on. Let's try so I think for now we're just going to work on this side. It's still a little damp, but that's okay. Let's try some Tombow markers because I did do, oops. That doesn't bother me either because I think it'll look really cool once it's all chunky. All right, let's see. Let's do some Tombow markers and see what happens what the bleed through is if it's just shadowing or if it actually soaks through let's do once upon a time I had all the Tombow markers and I never used them because I discovered Copic markers but then I don't ever use my Copic markers anymore either but um because I'm not really a stamper anymore I used to make cards but so then I found these one of the last times I shopped at Hobby Lobby and if you don't know I do not shop at Hobby Lobby. I do not support them. Let's do, ooh, let's do lavender. Mm, you know what, we're just gonna do this. We'll do lavender and lavender. I don't think that's gonna work over blue. Dang it, I hate when I have to have like the same color scheme together, but that's all right. We're just playing. Um, but anyways, one of the last times I went to Hobby Lobby, they had a huge clearance and I got, I want to say this was three packs, three individual packs of colors. 
and they were on clearance for six dollars maybe less i think there's a post on my instagram but i don't remember all right so we'll do blues eh, i don't want to i'll do blue and blue and yellow again because apparently that's how i wrote let's just do this These aren't super juicy either. Some of them are, but some of them are kind of dried out. Um, but yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby and bought these a while back. And now I can see why they were on clearance. This isn't going to be a good um, example of if it bleeds through because that blue from the ink probably already bled through a little bit. No, not really. Okay. There's really not a whole lot of bleed through there. But I wonder if we do it this way. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's more of like a periwinkle, huh? I like it. Uh, it seems to be working. See, it's they're really dry. I guess just for coloring fast. If you were to go slow, you would get a better color payout. But I like that streakiness because once I put stickers and washi and all that over it, it'll be fine. Um, let's see. So yeah, on the back of that, you can't even, you can see a little bit of the darker. I don't know, can you see that even? My lighting is terrible today. If I don't film first thing in the morning, the light in here is crap and my filming lights are really hot. So I do have one on, that's why there's a big old shadow. Let me see if I turn off my overhead light. If that, oh no, that's awful. All right, so let's switch gears a little bit and let's, I want to use my dilutions, but I know for a fact those are going to leak through, so we're not going to do that. Like I said, I don't normally care, but that's going to make a mess. Let's try Crayola markers. Let's see what those do. These are a little bit juicier. Let's do, oh, sorry. Ah. Everything's falling. Teal and let's just color up. Oops. So I've I let my best friend's daughter use these. I used to watch her over the well, I watched her a few times over the summer last year. Um when my friend had to work and so I specifically had art supplies for at the time a three-year-old because we all know three-year-olds are rough on coloring it's pretty I like that color I'm really just doing this to see how how it performs All right, we've got a little shadowing, not too bad, not too bad. I think if I were to continue to go over the same area, it would definitely bleed through. Let's do, I don't know, I like that together. We're doing dark, so let's keep doing dark. This literally looks like a three-year-old colored in it. These super tips, I think that's what these are called, are not very juicy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think I'm used to coloring with Copics that are like alcohol-based and they're not streaky. But I know for a fact that'll bleed through and I, I don't, I won't want that. 
Mm. Yeah, I had a bigger collection of these, but like I said, I, I let a three-year-old play with them and <laughs> the rest is history. But that's okay. I They were cheap and better than her ruining my Tombos. Right? Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. It's not too bad. The shadowing's not bad at all. All right. Let's see. What else are we going to do? Um... See, if I commit, because I really want to do, I want to date the pages, but if I commit to that, I mean, I guess I can always change it, right? I really want to use this printable that I created, but I don't know if I want to commit to it, and I don't know if I want to commit to green butterflies throughout the whole book, but these are the dates. They go with it's called Quirky Girls, and it goes with some art that I drew a while ago. And I did some journaling cards. There's the original tags that I drew. And then I took the butterfly from this tag, and I created the days of the month. And then I did Monday through, well, Sunday through Saturday. And then just some extra butterflies and things like that. And I really wanted to do that, but... I don't want to commit. I don't want to commit to using all of the butterflies, but I also don't want to commit to painting my pages. You know what we're going to do since I'm not a fan of this really right now. I am going to find something fall related. Actually, you know what? Here, let me get these out of the way because it's casting horrible shadows. Oh. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I have not yet cut up this magazine because it's so pretty. I didn't want to, but there was an image in here that I wanted to use, and I think it'll be pretty if it fits on here as like my page one, and that won't be even be November 1st. That'll just be like my opening page. And no, I don't like it. This is the struggles of, of creating videos, because like now I feel pressure that I have to do something fallish here. Oh, you know what I do have actually? Let me see, I may have used most of them. She's cute, we're gonna use her. Oh, I like that too. I think that's from the same printable. So is that. And this is from Better Day Boutique. And it was the sampler. I think that's who this is from. She has a new thing called Cat Col Collage Cat Club, Cat Collage Club. Um so I'll link her website and her Instagram below. She's got some really cute printables. It's funny, I'm not even a cat person. I mean, it's not that I don't like cats, I'm allergic, so. But I wanted to do, you know, something fall-ish for this first page. I should have put my book plate. on this page. Oh well. I can't wait until it's cool enough for boots and sweaters. Although I pretty much live in leggings and workout clothes because lazy and comfortable. Um, be honest with you, I don't even know if I have any jeans that fit. <laughs> oh wow. I've never been like a jeans girl. I like them. I've just never found them comfortable, even when I was a size zero. Oh, the good old days. 
which probably now is like a size six or something because oh, don't even get me started on clothes sizing. A couple years ago, I was obsessed with working out and being fit and I don't weigh myself because I think it's a super unhealthy thing that's just for me mentally um but I like I was I was in really good shape I did CrossFit I worked out all the time uh, my ex and I spent countless hours at the gym um um, anyways, I, uh, had clothes that were anywhere from, like, a size 2 to a size 8. Like, it was ridiculous the way that sizing is done. I don't understand it. And they wonder why women have image issues. Sorry, I was trying to put my hair up. And you would think... I would have a hair tie in here. Great. I like her. She's cute. Let's glue her down. We're going to use this. Oh, I don't like how much white space there is in her whiskers. Are you guys starting a new journal for November? I <laughs> will see if I actually do anything with this. I probably will just because of filming more and more now and with Patreon, I need content, but, um, and I enjoy doing it, but, um, I had planned to finish my October daily journal that I started like two years ago. Um, I showed it in a video. It's got a spider on the front. It's a really cool book. And I didn't touch it at all last year, maybe once or twice. And then this year I was like, I'm going to finish this so that I, next October I can start a new one. <sighs> yeah, I haven't touched it. So it's, it's very ambitious for me to say that I'm going to start a new journal in November. We'll see. I think it'll be easier though because I'm finding my footing with the type of the style of journaling that I like to do. Like, I do a lot of writing um, and I think I've decided because that last my daily journal this one is mostly writing um, because that to me is traditional journaling right just writing stuff down um, and towards the you know, the back pages, you can see like it changed a little to where it was decorative and more of keeping track of my days, which I think is what this is going to be for. Um, and then I'll just have my, a regular journal that's probably not even decorated, except for maybe like a few things of washi tape or something like that, you know, like some strips of washi tape um, that I'll, I'll just write in because I want to get back to doing my morning pages. I loved doing that when I started. If you haven't read, I think it's called The Artist's Way, An Artist's Way, The Artist's Way. Um, it's an excellent book and that's where the whole morning pages thing came to be. And it's a really good way to start your, start your day, honestly. That's kind of fallish, right? I feel like I need some, oh, I know. If you guys have a Dollar Tree and you have, act, and they have these, I highly, highly recommend them if I can find them. Hold on, let's see. They're mostly my pasta and speeds. The metallic markers, highly recommend. They are like a felt tip, I guess, but they're nice and gold. They've got a really good, can you see that? Like a good 
shimmer to them. Do they bleed through? Let's see. No. And then plenty of room to journal or whatever I want to do here. I'll probably do like November or something. I don't know. I just really wanted to use her. All right. This page is going to be tricky. So I don't know what we're going to do there. But here I know that I'm actually going. Let's see. What day is the first? What day of the week is that? that is a Monday oh I like it look it's blue but I think that goes better there but look oh clearly I'm in a blue green and yellow mood I like that okay we'll use that and we'll do a Monday 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 where are my days of the week Let's see. Sunday, Monday. Do I want to use this one? It's kind of long. This is a set that I have had for about a million years. I couldn't tell you who made it. Um, I'm missing a bunch of letters. I don't know. I have six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm missing zero through five. I don't know. Do I have November? I do. So it's very country to me. It's like very Western font. And I don't know that I want to use that. That's that. I don't, I don't like it so much. You know, we're going to use it because I have it. And we're going to put it right here. Oh, we're going to try and center it. And then these don't match so much Sunday. We'll make that Monday, Tuesday. I could use these. These are no other printables that I will have available. But I don't see this is why I can't it's hard for me to pre-set up the days because I don't know what I'm how many I'm actually see because I like that it's purple but I don't know how many days I'm gonna actually like journal it at a time We'll just leave that in there just in case. I like that because you can see it a little bit better. Um, and then I did these as a printable. These are very fall-ish. Um, these aren't printable. These are the originals that I could also use. You know what I should do now that I'm thinking about it? Is I should put together like a, a little journaling kit so that I have like a limited supply maybe I'll do that maybe maybe we'll make a video about that and we'll put together a supply maybe I'll do it live um, so you guys can help me decide what's gonna go in my journaling kit because I find that I spend and I'm sure you guys can relate a lot of time picking through stuff and trying to figure it out than I more time doing that than I do actual journaling and I feel like my journaling would be more fun and more productive if I could just jump into it I don't know these are from uh pocket journal Pam and I absolutely love them I do think that would be cute over here so normally I would import these into oops my silhouette and have the machine cut them because I have them on sticker paper and especially when it circles I am not a fan of jaggedy edge circles and circles are really hard for me to cut out 
but I need to get a new silhouette because it's not working the way it used to. I have, however, had it for at least 10 to 12 years, so I can't complain. It still works. It just doesn't perform like it used to. I really like that. Okay. And you know what the other thing is, is I don't have to journal in order. That is one thing that I've started doing less of is order in order, like page order. I just kind of journal on a page that, because I had spent so, I had spent some time in my other journal setting it up and, um, ugh, I hate pulling stickers apart. This is why I like to use my machine. Sorry, tangent again. Um, but then I, I noticed like the last couple months of my journal, I haven't, or, you know, it's not in order. I date the pages as I do them, but they're not in order. And I, I like journaling that way. Um, mm -hmm. Let's try this and see if this works. Oops. Pull something off my... Why isn't this working? Because I need to do it from the other side, but I don't want to ruin that sticker. Oh, there we go. She's cute. Do I want her there? I can't, cause you can't really see the pink on there. I like it there. Just commit and stick. Um, anyways, I was saying earlier, I think I went off on a weird tangent. Um, somebody had asked me like, how do they get past, how do you get past the fear of just starting, of just doing it? Whether it's a page or starting a new book and I don't have the magic answers other than just do it. Just do it. It's paper. Nobody's going to see it unless you want them to. And nothing is going to be a master. Not everything's going to be a masterpiece. Um, but if you're journaling for your own personal, you know, you want to journal. I don't like that. I really don't. All right. I'll put this on my, oh, sorry. Um, but you just have to kind of jump in and do it. Like, you just got to just start. So I don't know if that helped the person that asked me or not, but I'm going to do with this. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's, let's move on. Where are we at here? 54 minutes. Good Lord. I'm going to have to edit this. I cut these out of a, that's cute old calendar that I found that I had from Dollar Tree, I think. And it had some really cute images. So, of course, what do journalers do when they find cute images? They cut them out and keep them, duh. I have got to go through my stash and get rid of stuff that I don't use. Do you guys remember when the whole Marie Kondo thing was popular? Maybe I should do that. Here's the problem. Everything in my art room, pretty much everything in my home gives me joy. So I wouldn't be able to get rid of that much stuff. We have a community yard sale coming up in November. So I think I'll be able to get rid of a lot of stuff at that. Last time I did a yard sale, it was the middle of summer and it was a horrible idea. I don't know what we were thinking. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. 
it was humid oh my god it was so humid it was like uh i don't even know it was crazy humid i found these they're actually i think they're korean stickers but they're in like french Merry Merry Day. It's like a hamburger day. I don't know what these all say. But I have a whole pack of them, but I, this is the only one I could find. I don't know what I did with them. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I got to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I wish you guys were all closer. I'd let you come rummage through my supplies just so I could whittle them down. I've been thinking of doing little scrap packs and selling those off because I have more paper than anybody should have honestly so much more paper than anybody should have we're just gonna glue this down otherwise it'll go into that container never to be seen again um so i'm hoping once i have the yard sale garage sale whatever you call it i'll be able to get rid of a bunch of things and and be able to whittle down what it is i'm gonna take with me when i start traveling I keep saying that watch I'm not gonna end up doing it all right um so so far we did this weird page I'm not sure what's going on with that orange but I'll probably put some washi actually let's do that right now hold on this will be the last thing we do and then I'll flip through what we've done which isn't much and oh, we will pick this up on a different day all right, this is my washi supply. Ooh, I like that. You know what, we're gonna commit. It's orange, we're gonna commit. No more second guessing. And link, oh, you know what I should do? Oh no, ah, I glued it down. Dang it. Mm. Oh well. These are colors I rarely use in my journal. So, oh, crooked, hello. Hi, my name's Tony and I'm new to anything creative. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, I like it. Oh, we need something down there. Just put that there just cuz just cuz let's see what do we have in here may as well use the new stuff right not saving it for anything particular these are so cute except for I don't want an animal and I think all these are animals yeah I want something just decorative which I could probably find in here. I'm so excited for this, for the new year to start. Is anybody else? I don't know why. I'm usually not a new year's. I'm not like super excited about anything new year's. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. Commit, Tony. Just commit. Just do it. Let's not keep looking. Let's just do it. Um, For some reason, this new year i'm really looking forward to i don't know why but i'll take it i haven't been excited about something like that in a really long time so um i'll take the excitement and the happiness where i can get it because anxiety and depression have been my middle name for a while now and i'm finally starting to come out of it and i'm feeling really good And I just, I don't know. I think this next year is going to be a good one. Famous last words, right? That's what everybody thought about 2020. You were like, 2020. Woohoo. <laughs> and we all saw how that played out. Oh. But it's kind of what you make of it, right? Like we can't control that kind of stuff. So you just kind of have to 
make the best of it. All right, I like it. And then it leaves, if I do want to journal, because I'm not hating it as much as I thought I was, hating it as much as I was. Um, if I want to journal, there's some space there to journal. And then we just have, I don't know what, I, we'll figure something out for this side. And then we've got, again, this was just kind of just to see how things react on the paper. Um, I think next time what I'll do, maybe I'll just jump right into it and we'll start doing like pins. We'll see how pins react on these. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So anyways, links for books and stickers and things like that will be below, um, printables, things like that. I've gotten requests for the links to my Patreon and I promise you guys as soon as it is ready, I will tell everybody about it. I will shout it from the rooftops and you guys can go check it out. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.